Hi guys, welcome back. In this video, we are going to learn move all zeros to the beginning of an array and maintaining the order of non-zero elements. For example, if your input is 103057, so our expected output would be 001357. Here, all zeros would be the beginning of an array and maintaining the order of non-zero elements. So let's create a method for that. Before that, let us understand the algorithm, how this is going to work. So I'll open Excel here and I'll show you that how we can add. Suppose we are array, we have a 1, a 0, and we have a 3, and we have a 0, and we have a 5, and we can choose that. So this is the array. So now I can say in index how the value is going to store. So index, we can say this is the 0th index, and the 1st, and 2nd, and 3rd, and 4th, and 5th. This is the way the value is going to store, right? The index way. Now, what we have to do? Now, we want the beginning zero should come. And all the non-zero should come second, okay? We'll add a one for loop over here, okay? We'll add a for loop. It get one by one value from the array. We'll start from the, you know, last of the array, okay? End of the array. So, it's going to check whether the element is non-zero or not. Then, if it is a non-zero, then we have to add it in a one more uh, variable. For example, Suppose it is going to take a last index. So this is the 7 will come over here. And check the condition. This is the 0 or non-zero. If it is a non-zero, the condition is true. It is going to store it in the last element. Then again, it will, uh, the next iteration, it will take the second element. I mean the next element. This is a 5. This is also non-zero. The condition is true. It's going to store it over here. The third iteration is the 0 here. So 0 means this condition is false. So it's not going to add any value. It will move on to the next iteration, next value. It will take a 3 and it is the condition is true because it, this is not a 0. Then again it is going to add it over here. Then again it will go to the next iteration, the 0. This condition is false. It will not going to add any value. It will take another value. This is the 1. Here it is comes once. Okay. This is the way it's going to, we can store it in a non-zero element and maintaining the order of the value. Okay, and we have one more, we'll create one more loop. Here we'll add a zeros. Okay, so now we'll add a zeros over here. So this is what we are going to achieve. I'll create a method and I'll show you how we have to create that. So now let's create a method. So which is containing the logic to move zeros to the beginning. So you can say public void move zeros. Okay. We can add any uh, method name. Then we can pass argument over here. Into here now. Can give any variable name. Then pass an argument arrays. Now we'll go with the static method. Okay. Yeah, so that you know no need to create an instance of the class. So that I can say static method. So now first we have to initialize the one variable. You can say in loss index equal to here we need to store the end of the array so we can say nums dot length okay because we are going to use one loop we start from the end of the array so we can say n minus one so it starts from the last index of the array so why we have added a minus one if you see the index is you know the value we have a one two three four five six but the index will, the length will come 6 means here the index is start from the 0. So that's the reason we are going to add a length minus 1 over here. Okay. So the variable keeps track the position where the next non-zero element placed. Okay. So we are going to add a one loop over here. So this loop move non-zero element. I mean start with the, I can say, it iterate from the end of the array to the beginning. I can say mean i equal to. Nums dot length minus one. It's going to start from the end of the array. Then i greater than or equal to zero. Then i minus minus. So now we have to add a condition to check whether the element is non-zero or not. So I can say if if nums of i the first value if it is we have to check the not it should be you know not zero. Okay, so this is a non-zero uh, non only, we have to add it in the loop. So we can say if the condition is true, we can say we'll add a 
for each non zero element found, it placed it in the last index. So we can say nums of last index. So here, what is the last index? That five. I mean, five will come. Nums of five will go into store it in a value of nums of five. Okay. Then we have to decrement the index because we are starting from the end. So we need to move last index minus minus. So what we have done here, this loop iterate from the end of the array to the beginning for each non-zero element found, it plays it in the last index position and then decrement the last index. We'll add a one more uh, loop, okay? So we have to add a zeros, right? For that, we'll add a one more loop. So in i equal to zero, i less than equal to last index. Then we'll add an i plus plus. Then we have to say nums of i equal to zero because we need to add only zeros in the beginning of the array. So till that last index value, we have to add a nums of zero only. Okay. Now this is what you know we need to create a method. So first loop it is going to you know align the uh, non-zero element. The second loop will going to add a zeros in the beginning of the array. So in main method which is the entry point of the program, right? Here we need to call the method. So first we have to define that array to be proceed. So I can say in equal to, we can add a value, one comma zero comma, we can add any value, uh, six comma seven. So any value we can add. Now we need to call the method. So how to call the method? We have created a static method, right? So no need to create an instance. So directly we can call the method. So I just copy that method name. So we can directly add an So more zeros. This is the we have we are passing argument, right? So it is going to ask you the argument. We can say max. So method to move all zeros to the beginning of the array. Now we have to print the modified array. So for that you can add a one for each row in num nums. We'll print all the values. We can say num. We'll add a I remove the tail one. Okay. Because I don't want to go to the new line. So I want to add a same name. So I'll be adding it num. Yes, we need to add a space or we can add a comma. Okay, so now let's see. Now let's see, let's uh, run this and see how this is working. See now, 0, 0, 1, 3, 6, 7, it is maintaining the order of the non zero element as well. Okay. So the method iterate through the array from the end of the beginning, it moves non-zero element towards the end of the array while keeping the keeping the relative order. Okay, after placing all non-zero element, it fills the remaining part of the array from the start with the zeros. I hope this is clear. You can change the number and you can run the code. It will going to work. Okay, I hope this is clear. See you in the next.